Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss about another pressure transducer which will be used for measurement of pressure which is bellows. So let's get started. So what is a bellow? Now a bellow is a primary transducer which is used for measurement of pressure or force. Primary transducer it means that it converts pressure or force into suitable mechanical motion or displacement. Generally it is used in conjunction with a secondary transducer such as uh, LVDT so that we can get an electrical output in terms of voltage or current. So basically bellow is a primary transducer used for measurement of pressure and is generally used in conjunction with a secondary transducer. Now the construction of the bellow. Now a bellow is generally a thin walled cylindrical cup shaped structure which has a number of folds or convolutions or corrugations along the axis. Now this cylindrical structure can be made off of metallic alloy, rubber, plastic or any other elastic material which can be stretched or compressed without breaking that is the requirement okay generally the bellows is in this form okay these uh, crests and troughs represent the folds or convolutions or corrugations which occur along the axis now this is a cylindrical shaped structure okay these sinusoidal wave type formations represent the folds or convolutions or corrugations okay the external pressure is uh, given by piece 1 and the internal pressure which is the pressure inside the bellow is given by p2 okay r subscript o is the outer radius of the bellow and r subscript i is the inner radius with respect to the convolutions or corrugations so this is the general design of the bellow okay now working of bellows now how bellows work so that we get an output in terms of uh, a value a mechanical displacement which gives the value of the pressure or the force so because of uh, the differential pressure between the inside and outside of the bellow they are axially stretched or compressed means they are either stretched expand or compressed along the axis okay whenever the external there are two cases either the external pressure is greater than the internal pressure or the internal pressure is greater than the external pressure so when the external pressure is greater than the internal pressure the bellows they get compressed this movable end or the top end of the bellow moves downwards okay like this here compression of the bellows this results in a change or displacement of the movable end of the bellow this end it moves downwards and when the internal pressure is greater than the external pressure the bellows move upwards they get expand they expand themselves but when the external pressure is more than the internal pressure they get compressed so either way the bellows can either be stretched or compressed okay this this is the stretching of the bellows or the expanding of the bellows when the internal pressure is more than the outside pressure now the movable ends can either be connected to a pointer scale arrangement or a secondary transducer like LVDT for measurement purposes. We are going to discuss both of them in the upcoming slides. So first the mathematical expression for the axial displacement, okay? this displacement of the free end of the bellow. Now this displacement due to differential pressure is given by y is equal to pi rm square delta p which is the differential pressure, the pressure difference between the internal and the external to the bellow which is into 1 minus mu square by Et into n by 
a subscript o plus b subscript o into t square by r subscript i whole square. Now, we are going to uh, know what these symbols or values mean. Okay. First, r subscript m is the mean radius which is the outside radius or the outer radius plus the inner radius of the bellow divided by 2, the average of both, okay. the outer and inner radius. n is the number of convolutions that is these folds, these folds, okay, this peaks, these are the folds or convolutions or corrugations, n is the number of those convolutions. Delta p is the pressure difference that is pressure difference between the inside and the outside of the bellow, okay, p 1 and p 2, okay, delta p is p 1 minus p 2. Mu is the Poisson's ratio which is the ratio between the lateral strain and the longitudinal strain of the bellow material whenever it is actually stretched or compressed. E is the Young's modulus of elasticity of the bellow material and T is the thickness of the bellow walls. Now, A subscript O and B subscript O are constants which depend on the bellow material. So, whether we are using a metallic alloy, plastic, rubber, these values will change accordingly. So, this is the expression which relates the differential pressure with the displacement of the free end of the bellow. So, as you see displacement is directly proportional to the differential pressure. So, note down this expression. Now, uh, the bellows which are used along with the pointer scale arrangement. So, similar to the Borden tube uh, which we discussed in the previous video. Here also the pointer of the pointer scale arrangement is connected with the movable end of the bellow. So, whenever there is a change in the uh, uh, change in the pressure between the inside and the outside of the bellow, the free end of the bellow undergoes deformation or displacement which causes the pointer to move over the scale and points to the definite pressure value. Okay? And if we want to convert this into a suitable voltage or current signal, what we can do is connect the same free end of the bellow with the movable core of the LVDT. So, whenever the bellows move up and down due to expansion or compression, the core of the LVDT moves towards or away from the null position or reference position which produces a differential output voltage. You can check out the video uh, about the LVDT sensor in my channel and uh, for more information about LVDT. So, here the free end of the bellow is connected to the movable core. So, whenever it moves up and down because of expansion and compression, it moves towards or away from the null position or reference position producing a output voltage VO. So, these are some of the basic concepts which are related to the operation of bellow and how it can be used for measurement of force or pressure. Now, in my upcoming videos, I will be discussing about a lot of other sensors and transducers for measurement of various physical parameters. So, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you.